Hi guys, it's Dr. Pete here from the Level Up program and today we're talking about getting ready to run HBT team sessions and using the HBT Activity Planner. If we put this in context of organisational transformation, by now you should be pretty familiar with uh, as a leader using some of those HBT tools with your leadership team and we're wanting you to start getting ready now to be introducing these strategies and tools with your team. So we're heading downstream shall we say. Now, of course, as we know, when we're building high performance teams, we're building really strong team systems. And we take that HPT framework and turn it into a series of team systems. Specifically, we're talking about a system of understanding foundations, then another about the team achievement strategy, the team engagement strategy, and of course, business as usual, our meetings and metrics. Now, of course, the big goal in running team sessions is to co-construct these team systems. And that brings us to understanding the HBT activity planning tool in order to prepare for these sessions. So one of the things we've learned over the years in implementing team transformation is using this really simple HBT activity planning tool. And it has two key parts to it. One part is about raising awareness, the things we do ahead of time, and the other, of course, is planning each one of those team sessions to build our team systems. Let's start with the first part of the planning tool, building team awareness. You can see on the screen now, there's a whole bunch of things you can do from book club to sharing articles to playing with some of the HPT tools. Take some time to think about what your strategy is to familiarize your team with HPT ahead of actually running the sessions. It's really important you're very familiar with our website there and you can see there the reference to the tools button, the various diagnostic tools that are handy to play with, the downloads button where you can get like the writable data wall documents and copies of all of the books, resources and articles and of course the YouTube channel, particularly the Level Up playlist where all of the videos you'll need to implement HBT are ready there for you. If we jump into part two of our planning tool, now you can see this is where we uh, plan out how to implement the team sessions. And there's seven quick sessions to run over three to six months. Uh, and you can see there there's advantages if you use general staff meetings or professional learning days, you can really short circuit this process and build a comprehensive team system. Now, when we think about what it's like to run a HPT team session, I like the restaurant menu analogy. We've got our entree, which is our warm-up activity, our main course, the main team activity we're doing, and our dessert, where we complete our team systems documents that end up on our data wall. Let's take a look at two quick examples of how the planner helps us make sense of this process. The first one is where we look at the activity of team role chart, and you can see here the warm-up is a team booster out of that little booklet. Then we've got our main activity, our discussion and clarification of our roles and responsibilities. And then the dessert, of course, is uh, our updated team chart. Our second example here is the level up plan. This time our warm up, our entree is a quick YouTube video. Then we've got the main activity, of course, and the dessert, we've got our team level up plan completed. Now, from my experience, when we're running HBT team sessions, there's a couple of quick tips I wanna share with you for success. The first one is to share your activity planner with your team, with your line manager, with your coach, and with your peers. The second one there is share the load. Particularly when you're running team sessions, you can delegate the running of these sessions to pairs within the team. After all, the steps required are clear on the planner. The third tip is about living wallpaper. And that's the idea that any document we create is no longer a draft, but rather an active living thing, and we can continue to update it and refine it any time. And finally, remember that team systems are a journey, not a destination. So they're always a work in progress, even if they're the latest representation of how we conduct ourselves as a high performance team. So that's the idea of running a HPT team session in order to co-construct the team's systems. Remember, high performance teams have strong team systems. So until next time, bye for now.